Please, can you tell us what IDA is all about? IDA is an academic institution which is aspiring to be the, the world's micro business school. Um, we serve the hopeful poor um, and, and all of those who are interested in, in growing um, economies and the, the potential of our youth in particular. Um, we have been founded in Singapore and have built a wealth of experience there. We're um, interested in moving into the Middle East now and I would love to have some insights into how best to be positioning such a school, one that is working to, to lift up both the poor, youth, women, and provide them with the entrepreneurial capabilities to, to grow futures. Well, I think the UAE would be uh, one of the uh, best places in the Middle East, I think, to choose. And I understand that you already started in Abu Dhabi, as well as in Dubai. Uh, when did you start in Abu Dhabi? No, we've only just really established our presence here, but our operations are really only nascent. I see. So you are not planning of having a branch or an office or a school here in the Middle East? You are? Yes, several. A network we would like to have. Exactly. Well, the UAE, as you know, it's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's been prepared by many of the business uh, men and uh, women probably. And uh, such t type of business is new to the, to the economy in the, in the UAE. I believe that uh, with the new generation that we are having, and with the role women are playing nowadays in the UAE uh, as a whole, in the economic sector, as well as in the political sector and the social sector. I think it would be a, a, a very good idea to have, uh, to open a branch here in the, in the, in the UAE. Do you think the time is right? I think the time is right, yeah. Education, always the time is right. And who could be the mentors of such a project? Well, uh, she was talking about the youth, she was talking about the uh, ladies and uh, the, the, the young generations and other Who could support such a project in the region? I think, I think there is, we have the Ministry of Education and we have the Ministry of Higher Education. If you could approach some of, you know, both of them and see the, the potentials or the likelihood that they could probably, uh, you know, have it 50-50, you know, semi-government uh, institution probably. Also, there is many uh, people who are interested in education. Right, right now, we have many private universities as well as colleges. And uh, that's why the Minister of, Higher, Minister of Higher Education, they have, you know, they have they set an accreditation policy or system for any private university who would like to open in the, in the UAE. We in Ras al Khaimah have uh, two, two, three, two private, four private universities so far. We have the American University of Iraq. And we have uh, Ras al Khaimah Medical and Health Sciences University. And we have the Ras al Khaimah Dental School as well as Al Ittihad University. Dental University, sorry, and as well as Al Ittihad University. So this shows you Ras al Khaimah is the fourth emirate in terms of size and population and economy, in fact. And we have four private universities. Imagine a school like that. Definitely it will draw many people to it. Thank you very much. Thank you.